So you hear it all the time, right? If you want to lose weight or eat healthy, just switch your regular bread for whole grain. Well, is it really better? Let's check out today and let's make final informed decision if the whole grain is better or not. Welcome, I'm Olga and my mission is to help people to feel welcomed in their bodies, life, world and universe. So first thing, let's get this one thing out of the way, which is I think quite obvious, but still some people might uh, be confused about it. We are not talking about color, right? Color is something totally different. If something is uh, dark brown or saying multigrain, it doesn't have influence on anything, right? The food industry is just adding colors in different forms like melassa or whatever. So don't look at the product as far as color. We just want to really debate the flour that was used that is highly processed or the whole grain flour or product. All right, so let's start with this really simple thing. It's true that whole grain products uh, have zinc in them, potassium and magnesium, but they also contain uh, phytic acid, which is actually preventing from absorption of these minerals and uh, these uh, nutrients into our body. What next? If you want to really lose weight or prevent diab diabetes, the main concern is the reaction of the body to the certain food. And we have something called glycemic index and I will do a separate video on glycemic and insulin index. So don't miss it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and very shortly here, uh, there is a range from 0 to 100 talking about glycemic index. The higher the number, the more problematic reaction of our body insulin and uh, sugar blood levels to the particular food. So as far as uh, white bread, we will be talking about something like 70, which is very high. The whole grain bread would be something like 60. So it's a little bit lower, but not that much, right? And the numbers may vary, but still it's in this high uh, range of glycemic index, which means that if you consume them, you are provoking a rapid reaction of insulin and rapid increase in your blood sugar levels and we don't want that right so what about the solution the solution is the sour bread isn't that amazing the sour bread takes it to the middle or low even range of glycemic index why how is it possible so I mentioned that actually the sourdough fermentation process is taking the glycemic index and the response of the blood sugar way, way down, right? So as, as mentioned, as we are talking about 65, 70 to the range of low glycemic index. How is that actually possible? Because even in the grains, there are starches and that's uh, carbohydrates, right? And the carbohydrates are actually food for the bacteria that is going through the fermentation process. So they are eating the carbohydrates instead of us. Also because of this process, the content of um, gluten is much lower because the structures of the grains are somehow disrupted. It is also said that these good bacteria are very beneficial for our digestive process, right? This is because uh, they are producing acid and they are working uh, on a similar basis as for example, vinegar would do. As I mentioned, it takes time. So be aware if you are buying sourdough, if the producers are not actually shortcutting the fermentation process and they are not adding some yeast. So do you bake at home? Do you bake with yeast or with sourdough? So please share with us, share with us the type of the flour you are using because I'm super excited now because I'm doing this research on different types of flour and uh, different types of all the grains and how beneficial they are for us actually. So to wrap up, as I mentioned, the glycemic index of the sourdough is lower. There's not that much starch because the starch is already eaten by the bacteria. And also there is a lower content of gluten in such dough. And also as a bonus, if you want to even more level up the response of your organism to the uh, either bread or pastry, 
and you are using sourdough if you add some vegetables and some protein then again you would even lower that um, glycemic index also the alternative is the low carb or keto uh, bread or, or pastry and I will be also making uh, future videos about that so don't miss it if you have any questions comments please write down below share if it was interesting or of any value to you thank you for all your support and welcome on the journey Thank you.